Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing well out there. I'm doing well. I'm just trying to get things to work because things aren't always working. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I can't. I'm streaming, so that uh, <laughs> that becomes... it just everything turns black. Okay. Ah, it's just weird. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason on the streaming machine, YouTube keeps locking up. Let's just wait. We'll wait, wait, and see what happens. Obviously, That's there's some weird. people on YouTube because they're commenting. Yeah, all of the comments are coming from the YouTubes. Yeah, so far, and not 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 the uh, not the people on our continent either. Yeah. Netherlands. I don't. I don't know if I've noticed a, a Netherlands, uh, or it's never been pointed out to me. A Netherlander. Netherlander. Is that, is that the term? Netherlandian. Netherlandian, uh, and it says greetings from Russian Russia. I actually uh, went and used the old Google Translate, and it. Oh, I thought you just knew that. Friends. I, I can say it. I can say greetings from Russia in English. Hey, don't sell yourself short. That's uh, that's one one language. So. That is true. That's and you're good at it. You're good at that, good at that right. language. Well, now there's there's George. George is on the East Coast, so we have we have a couple Americans. Not not that international is not awesome. I think. Uh, yeah, Florida. Oh, we got Florida now from from Ryan in on Facebook. And multiple Dutch. All right. So we have this working theory that we get a lot more people that are not in the U.S. because we're doing this while everybody in the U.S. is in theory, work in their day job. And so we get a lot more people where it's nighttime. <laughs> it seems to be a, so, so that's the question. Is this, is this like your evening unwind time? Yeah. Or are you dodging what, work right now? What Jody's saying is, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get this number? Oh, nope. Seattle showed up. See, that's, and that's even earlier there. It's like 11 o'clock well, there. Like, 11 a.m. Ashley's been asking. Ashley's been asking for a castle for I don't know a couple months now. So. All right. Well then, we got you covered, Ashley. This one's for you. All right. And it's while it's a Disney castle, this is not a suggestion that you, as a female, presuming Ashley is a female name, I, you know, I'm being I'm being safe there. Uh, you don't have to like Disney castles just because you're a girl. That's right. I'm telling that to everybody. But you know, uh, shut up now. Ashley's not necessarily a girl's name because uh, the main character of you know, Bruce Campbell's character was named Ashley. Just went by Ashley. That's true. So could could go uh, either way. Ashley on that has one. mentioned Ashley's mentioned a husband before, but again, oh. you know this is the this is the world on online community. We we just there's a lot of theys and there and that's cool and and use. Welcome to SketchUp Live, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> Bing, pivot. <laughs> and uh, I hope everything's going good. I hope you guys are, everybody staying healthy, staying safe, staying smart. Uh, I am Aaron Dietz, if we have not met. I'm the SketchUp guy. I'm going to be doing some live modeling for you today. And with me, as always, is my buddy Jody. That's me. Jody I'm Gates. Also a SketchUp guy. He of sorts. is. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to hang out with you for the next uh, little bit, and we're going to model. A castle specifically so we had we've actually had the request for castles come up several times and i went and looked at some real castles like as they exist today and i'll say a lot of them are not super exciting they're either they're either all run down very organic like weathered rock kind of formations or and I, I, I don't, I think for a long time I lived in the uh, denial of what a castle really was because a lot of castles are just big rectangles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they had like this. I mean, they're working with giant chunks of stone. How well, elaborate can you really in good conscience get? That's, that's cool. I mean, I don't, I, I get the logic behind it. I mean, walls to protect you from invading forces or whatever. That's, that's what a castle's for. But uh, as far as modeling, it's like, you know, I'll do a rectangle and, do some parapity shapes and and that's uh and there's a tower so i decided to go maybe a little extra and we grabbed some plans for cinderella's castle in disney world or land wherever oh. wherever you prefer to consume your your disney i think they both have one they both have a cinderella's castle um yeah and posted posted one that he says that the 
the Disney one is based on. But when I'm looking at this, it's not definitely not the same. Yeah, I I, sure I saw that, and I didn't want to call Ansi a liar, but uh, I saw some differences between them. <laughs> Most notably, the practical parapets <laughs> and semi-practical roof line. It looked like uh, that was a, a building that would have purpose and not. I was just looking at the Cinderella castle thinking that's a lot of circular stairs and uh, yeah. man, to go from one room to the next one, is going to be like a half mile walk to walk down this one, go over 20 feet and then go up the next one. So I, I feel like in that, in that time, I would probably build all furniture in place because I would not want to be carrying a couch or that's a true. bed. <laughs> I, that, they, they did a lot of beanbags back then, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's very casual. It's just piles of hay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's hop into it. We did, uh, I, I posted the images I found, the things that we're going to be using as plans, uh, and I posted them up onto uh, the forum. So Jody can link off to the forum. You guys can see if what? you wanna, anybody wants to follow along. That's the place to do it. Really? I didn't realize that was supposed to be uh, working. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Um, Keggy pointed out that the Tudor castles were all modeled or patterned on a rose. Oh. All the stuff that uh, Henry VIII, I am, built. I only know him from the song, but uh, that's cool. It's, it's a catchy song. I'm doing this new thing. I don't know if you guys are doing this. I know Jody's familiar with this because he's, he's played with this before, but... Uh, so I do have two computers at work. I have my main one, my laptop, and day-to-day -day stuff, everything's on my laptop. And then we have the streaming and recording machine over here. So I I have a Logitech mouse, which will do that, I can't remember what they call it, where you, you hold down a modifier key and you can jump from one computer to the next, which is really neat. But as soon as I jump over to this computer, then I don't have a computer over here. So I'm trying to teach myself to use my left hand on a mouse. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh man, it's like going back to square one. Like I find myself with my tongue sticking out as I try to like copy things. So if I start drooling on myself and looking down this direction, it's because I'm trying to use my left hand to move that mouse over there. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, that's how I'm making myself a, a better person in 2021. <laughs> left nice. left handed mounting. <laughs> I like how that is. What that does is suggest that left handed people are better people. I'm not going to say I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not going to not argue with that with you. Yeah, Logitech Flow. Barry called it out. That's what it's... And it is cool. I mean, one of the things I do is... What, so if I do record over here, sometimes I'll edit on this machine and copying files with Flow where you can just copy off one machine and paste. Oh, so cool. So much nicer than like See, using Google Drive or something. I use this, uh, this app called Synergy which basically you set up a, like a server on one and then a client on the other and you point and then you can kind of move, move stuff around. But sometimes when the non-server, uh, sometimes that mouse gets a little herky-jerky, but otherwise it's pretty consistent. All right. Well, let's go. Let's do this thing. Left-handed people are intelligent. Fam is, sure. Fam Civil Engineering is a lefty, so... You know? well, so the line is, is left people are in their right mind. Left-handed right. people, yeah. I know there's something about that, about sides of the brain, but I've never been able to keep them clear, which means I am primarily one of the sides. My mom's a lefty, my wife's a lefty, and my son doesn't really, he's just like, whatever hand is convenient. He's Ooh, ambidextrous. no fault or effort on his own. He just sort of, uh, he does some stuff left and some stuff right. Wow. That's impressive. I've, I've always tried to do that. Or I've, I've always aspired to do that. This is my first actual effort into it is, is left-handed mousing. So we'll see how that project goes. I don't think anytime soon that this mouse is going to end up over here, um, especially since the Logitech MX Master is actually made for a right hand. So... What are you going to do? All right. Well, let's do it. Let's let's hop in and let's uh, let's model some some towers. That's what this is going to be. This is going to be. Could, is it something like 17 towers in this thing? I think I, I seem to remember something along those lines. Um, I don't know, but I know that when I went to Disney World, 
I was confused because it was a lot smaller than I expected. And there's this like a big tunnel right through the middle of it that you could like walk through or something. Yeah, it's really about all that you do. Yeah. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's import. So I'm going to, I am going to try to use, I'm going to set up a, uh, a reference cage, I call it, where I'm going to go through and actually get all the images so I can see, have a backdrop on all three sides of, of what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and import. And I'm going to start with my number one. My number one is my, my top view. So I'm going to go ahead and import that plan. I'm going to drop it right here. Whoops. I did that wrong. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to import the C1 as an image, not a texture. And I'm just going to arbitrarily drag it out large. All right. So uh, this is a brand. I don't think I've done this since I have updated to the most recent version. I'm going to go up to preferences. Preferences is under the SketchUp menu on Mac. It's under Windows on Windows. And in there, I'm going to go to, is it OpenGL? Yes. Under OpenGL, I'm going to use Use Maximum Texture Size. Um, what that's going to do yeah. is just give me a little higher resolution image. These aren't super high resolution. I mean, you can see the jaggies here are not being caused by resizing the screen. They're not super high resolution images. Um, but I don't need that. I just need reference on where stuff goes. But by using uh, use maximum, maximum texture size, I'll get these jaggies rather than blurry lines, which I guess is better. All right, so there we go. That is... Not a single, not a single dimension on here. All right. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what the dimension is as long as we dimension everything the same. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I don't know if those are towers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. There's a lot of towers though. Um. All right. So I have that that piece um, uh, I'm thinking about what do we want to do I'm just gonna leave it at this size right now no I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a dimension here and again my dimensions really don't matter because at the end of it all I can rescale the whole model very easily but what I do want to do is come up with a dimension that I can pull off of each drawing to get everything scaled to about the same size I think what I'll end up using is this line right here. This is the main tower that goes up the top, which it looks like is a decagon, a 10-sided tower. Um, so what we can end up doing is making that a nice round number, like make that 20 feet across or something like that. And then all the other ones that have that image in there will be able to, to scale them to the same size. So- Everybody's pointing out that there's uh, dimension lines on the side. There's a scale over there. Yeah, that thing. You know that thing. Okie dokie. Can't, can't read it though. It's sideways. So this from here to here is 64 something. Units. Uh, so that there, at the top it says scale. One sixteenth of an inch is one foot. Well, yeah, if it was printed out, that would work for me. I arbitrarily scaled it. So, um, all right, I'm going to grab this Great picture word, arbitrarily. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to keep Sumele for right now because, whoop, Hey, Sela, whoa, she got crazy. I'm going to just set her over here just to, to, again, give me some, well, scale. And, uh, I'm going to center my drawing, the origin on that main tower. All right, now I'm going to go in here, file, import my C2. And I'm just going to throw that over here. Again, scale it up arbitrarily, and then I will use rotate to rotate it vertically. All right, so... Looking at what we got, what do we got here? Okay, so this entrance, I believe, I believe that's this right here with the two big towers on either side. So where do I have, I can, there we go. I'm going to put a line 
right here on this tower. So I'm going to drag that straight up. And then what I can do is I can throw another line right here on this tower, like that. And I can grab that. And that line's not actually ex necessary. I could have done without actually putting that there. And I can bring this across to right there. That line that would line up. What I didn't do is I did not scale that. So, um, and I don't have this. Is actually I think I think what I'm looking at here is a reflected ceiling plan. So I think that's actually showing the inside. I don't have that hexa or octagonal tower right here. I actually have a uh, standard roof. Um, not a big deal because what I can do is I can use the distance from here to here and I'm going to make it something even. Um, I'm going to grab this image and all the lines I've drawn so far, make those a group real quick, hop into the group and use the tape measure to call that something even. I'm just going to say that's going to be 20 feet. Again, if I, if I get a good solid dimension for that, uh, I can put that back or I can rescale the whole thing once I get it done. All right, put that middle piece back on there. And now what I can do is I can do the same thing here. I'll come on to this one. I'll draw a, a line from the tip of this tower to the tip of that tower, grab those, group them together, and then go into that group. How many jagged lines there? And scale. Oh, yeah. This is, we're, we're playing low poly right here. Grab that, make that 20 foot, scale the active group. That's why I put them in a group together. All right, and now if I take this and move it by this line, oop, get back out, move it by this line to that line. Now I'm lined up. So if I look at this in orthogonal mode, that'll line up perfectly. One last thing I'm gonna do before I jump to orthogonal mode, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to Put a line. So the reason I'm drawing lines on top of lines that are inside here is this this is only an image. This isn't a, a vector drawing, so I can't snap to what I see on the screen. By going into a group and adding lines on top, now I have a line that I can actually snap to. See that? So even though that's just a line in the drawing, now I have a reference point. So if I want to put this down to zero, I can grab it by this line. I can drop it vertically to the origin, and now that is flat. So by doing that, what I just did right there, I lined up this one, this image, horizontally with this image. So everything lines up this way. Now I'm going to have images going this way and this way. Um, one of the things I might want to do here is I might want to do a little cropping. So here I have a bunch of extra images. So I have extra stuff over here I don't really need. I have all this extra space around. So what I can do is I'm going to come in here and I can actually explode the image. An image is an automatically created group that has a face with uh, the image as a texture applied to it. But it's a special automatically created thing. So it, it, that geometry gets uh, 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 automatically created in there. That, that, that group gets automatically created. But I can explode it. And when I explode it, what I could do is I can actually go in here and crop it by grabbing these lines, pull this one over like this. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the escape key. And now I can just get just what I need, everything I need, nothing I don't, trim that image down, and those are the lines I actually want. In fact, I can actually come in here. I don't really need that line anymore either. I do the same thing here. I can come in here. I can right click and explode the image and then crop it this way. I'm going to keep my little callouts for heights right there. Those might come in handy later on or not. We'll see. Um, bring this up. I guess this does, I mean, this is, this is absolutely not required. I could leave those, the headers and everything in there. It doesn't hurt, but it doesn't really do anything to help me either. All right, there we go. So I got a group there. got did a group you, there. Did you talk through any of your, or do you have any other stuff in your recommendations? There's a couple people asking about mm -hmm. uh, getting the sharpest image whenever they import like that, besides just doing the max, although it's possible that uh, they didn't see you do the max texture. Yeah, so just to cover again real quick, 
Uh, if you go to your preferences, preferences under SketchUp on Mac, it's in the Windows menu on Windows. But if you come in here under OpenGL and turn on this Use Maximum Texture Size, that's one thing. Uh, the highest resolution that it will do an image is 1024. So if you're importing something bigger than that, bigger than 1024 pixels across, if you're bringing in a 4K image or something like that, it's going to resize it to 1024. 1024 is the, as big as it pulls in. So there is an extension called, uh, I think it's Image Splitter. Is that right? Um, uh, sounds right. That will go through, and what Image Splitter will do is actually take that image, break it into smaller pieces at the re max resolution, and then group them all together into one piece. So uh, that'll get you clearer image if you're bringing in a higher resolution image than what SketchUp will support natively. So that is an option. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to bring in two more images. I'm going to talk less as I do this. I'm going to try to just pull them in kind of quick so we can get, get modeling. But I'm going to say import. Uh, and now I have my CC3. CC is uh, Cinderella's castle, in case anybody's wondering what that means. All right, so again, same thing. I'm just going to import like that. Um, what are we looking at here? So here's the front entryway. So this is, uh, this is something that I won't say I got called out on, but I was questioned on, dare you question me, um, <laughs> was the, the orientation of my reference images. How, how am I pulling those in? So my front image, you see, I actually put at the back of the footprint. The idea being in my brain, the way this works is when I model a castle on the, or a tower on the ground and I pull it up and I look at it this way, I want it to directly cover up the image on the back. That's how I prefer to do it. Some people want to bring that to the front and then turn on x-ray and see through the image to the uh, geometry behind. That works. If you prefer to do that, if you're one of those x-ray guys, awesome, go for it, no problem. Um, I still love you. But for me, my brain would rather see the model up front and have the reference image in the back. Then I don't have to mess with x-ray or anything like that. But totally your call. You do that however however you like. All right, uh, moving on. So I need, I need a reference. So I'm looking at it this way. So there's my, my entrance towers stuff right here. Here's the back back here. Oh, this, these images leave a lot to the imagination. There are many things that uh, <laughs> I wish <laughs> based on this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I have, uh, man, I have nothing. I have nothing. Um, okay, so maybe what I have is this tower here and this tower here. I can see the width of the tower, width of the tower. Um, so over here I have tower, and apparently this one's octagonal. So what I might do, <laughs> what I might do is I'm going to come into this image. Uh, I'll I have oh, here's a, here's the center, and then over here if I draw a line like that, that'll give me the center. So I can go from here to here and that's 12 foot 1 and 7 sixteenths from center to center so if i come over onto this one and i'll draw a line same thing across this tower like that and then across this tower the nice thing is assuming these are round then the center of the tower versus the center of this cone versus the center of this should be a single line so this this should all work perfectly so if i go from the center here to the center here this dimension of this line should be the same as the dimension of this line except i'm pull, i'm dimensioning horizontally hold up hold up so that means i have to go that's actually this dimension whoops so if i look at that dimension is 12 foot one half inch so i'm gonna grab all this make it into a group come in here scale from here to here 12 foot one half inch 
Yes. And then what I'll do is I'll move that this direction to the center of that tower. And now that's lined up. So same thing, I can do the same thing here where I can explode this and then crop this drawing because I don't want all this extra stuff. And then there we go. And then I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna draw the, the, the ground line in there also so I can very easily grab that group by that line and align that ground. So I could also we'll bring it in like that. Okay. I feel like you could have said line like one more time somewhere in. They said line a lot. Hmm. That's not looking like it's quite right though. But look at look at that. Something's something's lying to me. All right, let's try this. Mm -hmm. Let's let's model by. We do have. I'm going to go from the top you, of the tower. You're going to burn up half an hour just importing images. That's how it goes, man. Yeah. That's 98, six and three quarters. So I'm gonna come in here, get a line here. And then that should be 98, six and three quarter inches. That was closer. Now I gotta move back down though. No, that does not look closer. Did I not remember those lines correct that length correctly? Because those lines are obviously not the same. 89, <laughs> not 98. Oh, come on, guys. Who's supposed to catch you? You had the right numbers. I moved I moved too fast. I didn't have time to I didn't even give you guys an opportunity to tell me I was stupid. 89, six and three quarters. All right, let's show you that. <laughs> Woo. All right, 89 foot six and three quarter inches. Nope, nope. Oh, no, what? Okay, there we go. That looks better. That I buy, okay. And then uh, I will, I for lack of anything better, I'm gonna re realign it to that side. Okay, um, I think that's good for right now. I might come in and put this third one in. Uh, the issue that happens pretty quickly with a full reference cage is if you have an image on every side, you can't see into what you're modeling. So you end up having to turn stuff <laughs> on and off or you end up putting in section planes and saving scenes. So I'm gonna model as much as I can of this side and the front now. And then uh, we'll pull in that other side when it comes time to, to do the other section. All right. So having said all those things, get rid of these because I don't actually need them. Now, geez, now the dress pretty much uh, a piece of cake from here. There's a lot of stuff happening. Okay, let's start with a tower. Let's, let's just pick a tower. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do this one right here because I can see it from this side and I can see it from this side. So this should be fairly easy. So what I'm gonna do, come up here to the top. Actually, I have a center line. This looks like the center line. So I'm gonna start right here, draw a line straight up. And then I'm just gonna make a 2D profile of this piece whoops i snapped out of plane when you're drawing on surface keep an eye on the shape of that little uh your cursor right there it should stay as a diamond if it's a diamond it means um i was gonna say you're golden but diamonds and gold are two different things i'm aware <laughs> so uh you're sitting in butter no that doesn't work either you're good <laughs> diamonds are good that means you're on surface so as long as it's, it can be hard, especially as I'm like this. And if I hit some reference point like that, oops, I'm on green. So if I was, if I was just in the right direction, green might look like, see, there we go. Green looks like I'm on the page drawing on that line. When in fact, what I'm drawing is a line that sticks straight out. 
If you it looks like eye. you're oversimplifying that because it's little steps there. Uh. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have to wonder when something is just jaggy uh, anti-aliasing and when it's yeah. legitimately. I got to I got to go with what I got, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what the details here look like. We'll, we'll come back and uh, we will beautify this. After I get the maybe, maybe, maybe we'll whoop, did it again. Did not wait for the diamond. I was not, I was not golden. All right, stay comes... gold, pony boy. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to take that all the way down to the ground and bring it back. I'm drawing that out of context. You guys notice that uh, I did not draw that in any group. I just made it by itself. Now I'm going to take it now and make it its own group. Kind of wonder why that didn't close. I must have a line segment missing somewhere. Did I not? Did I not actually close it? I did. All right. So if you ever get this, right, this is this is can be very frustrating. Uh, I usually just start grabbing Stitching. pieces, Yay. closing them up. And seeing what did I do wrong? Oh, so something's wrong in here. Something's maybe yeah, out you of can plan. See it right there. You can see it right under the tip of the nose, I think. I can, I'm pointing at it on my screen. Oh, look yeah, where I'm pointing. Yeah, 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 look at that. So this right here prevents this, all of this, from being a closed shape because there's geometry going into the shape. So. All I got to do is get rid of that little guy right there. And then that should close up just fine. There we go. Awesome. All right. And with that, tower one is almost done. So the question comes up now. I got a lot of towers. Did anybody figure out how many towers I got to put here? Um, no, nobody's even tried. No, oh, okay. did. It was just so that you save. It wasn't an official request. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll save. You guys figure out how many towers I got to draw. She'll be able to tell that by looking down from the top. Uh, if I had a better uh, top view, probably so, which actually mm -hmm. I should probably put the call out for that too. If anybody has a better image than this, because this is some kind of section. In, like I said, I think it's a reflected ceiling plane or something, but uh, this tells me almost nothing about where the towers go. Um. Emmanuel's saying that there are more than three towers. Hold on. Yeah, that checks out. That's true. Emmanuel's got it. Um, all right, so uh, <laughs> 16 towers. I thought, I thought it was 16 or 17. That's what I thought it was. Um, I believe that. So I got to make a decision because I want to be consistent here. I want to put the same number of sides on the towers. So I'm kind of thinking... Do I want to go with 24 sides or is that going to be a little too bumpy? Um, but I think I will. I'll just, I'll, I will go with 24. So I'm just going to draw a circle. Uh, I'm going to come into this group. I'm going to put a circle uh, right straight above the top. It doesn't matter how big I make the circle. I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to say, uh, follow me, which does not have, there we go. Get rid of the circle. And tower number one is done. Awesome. All right, so to get that here, let's grab it by this middle point. And I'm going to hold on shift and bring it over. That comes pretty close to lining up, but not perfect. All right, we have one. I feel, I feel better about things. All right, I'm going to make the front entry ones next. So these two look like they're pretty much the same. So this is what we call a twofer in the design business. Twofer. So I just threw up a nice isometric sort of top-down view of the castle while it was being worked on. Ooh, nice. And there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of towers. <laughs> Technically, technical count, a lot. Well, then sometimes you don't even know if it's a tower or it's just like a little decoration on a different tower. 
Yeah, there's, some... there's there's a whole lot of nothing is like another part of it. Everything is unique. It does, you know, if you really step back and look at it, it kind of looks like a big freaking mess. But I know Disney well enough to know that everything they do is meticulously designed. So they don't actually do big messes. Unless it's those straight to video this? sequels of, of some of our favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, no, I've watched The Return of Jafar, and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love you, Disney. Okay. Hey, that one closed up. I didn't have any any uh, errant geometry. I do, however, have a line right here that's breaking my face. <laughs> All right. You better watch it. It's going to break your face. That's exactly what happened. All right, so I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab that. Make that into a group. Go into the group again with a circle. Just so I can grab it, I can say, follow me and do that. All right, I'm gonna bring that guy straight out. Straight, straight. And plop it. Oh, look how well that lined up. I love you. All right, option. So is that X there? Is that just sort of a nod to the fact that now Disney owns the X-Men? Ooh, maybe. When was this from? Because this is this is an older set of plans. So maybe they 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 told us. They told maybe us. Maybe it was prognostication. Mm. So that's Those basically guys. Professor Xavier's tower. Yeah, that, I would give him a whole tower. He can have that. All right. Um, yeah, let me take a look at this. Okay. Uh, Keggy pushed a new improved image up too. Oh yeah, it's got colors even. Holy guacamole! Moly. So I'm feeling like, okay, so this square right here is actually like an open, parapety kind of tower thing going on. Uh, this one is like a little portion. This is like a, a stubby. Hopes to one day be a full tower, but right now is just a working part time kind of guy. Um. That's cool. So yeah, we'll do this. We'll do, we'll do, get this tower here. I feel like I want to do walls after I got towers all the way around. This right here, this entry tower is a big rectangle kind of shape. You can see that on everything. Um, cool. So I'm going to do this one real quick. I'm going to pop on the pieces that I, I, I can see. Hope Ashley's happy right now because I'm kind of wincing. <laughs> well, when you when you mentioned uh, Cinderella Castle last week, I I already started wincing. Then I I think I think I've been having some mild anxiety for the last six days now. Hey, you know what? We're we're gonna get done what we get done, and uh, if everybody takes away just a little bit of knowledge, it'll all be worth it. Well, I feel like, uh, yeah, that's probably all I'll get is a little bit of knowledge. <laughs> Sick burn. Ooh, it hurts because it's true. <laughs> Ashley said she's a little bit overwhelmed, but very excited. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, well, I mean, the, the, the plus side is, yeah, we did spend about 15 minutes bringing in and putting in imagery. Uh, the nice piece is we got four out of our 16 towers done so we're a quarter of the way there hey. in that aspect that's right all right this guy right here so a rectangular tower it looks like i'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh guesswork here but it looks like it comes up and then it has a set of parapets and then drops back down and then has another set so what i'm thinking is we'll start with this rectangle or this square i don't like that there's a different red version that is slightly off kilter What's yeah. going on there? Does it twist? Oh, come on, Disney. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? <laughs> that would be awesome. All right. Well, a slight spiral to this particular one. Here's what a rectangle, uh, or actual square looks like. So I copied this line 90 degrees to there. And then uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this at, at 90. So um, where can I go this way? Go parallel to this point. 
So that's that's that square. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up to like here. That was not correct. Hold on. Give me give me a line. There we go. I don't like trying to snap to a line that I can't when I can't see what's going on. All right, so that here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be this is going to be something. I'm going to draw the profile of this. I'm throwing flourish in here, by the way. I'm throwing little nooks and crannies because uh, I can. Might as well. Yeah. Can't tell me what to do, Disney. So it's going to come up like this. It's going to come over, and then I'm going to drop it down to here, come over to here, come up, and then we'll trace, trace some of this, like this. Everybody really wants to use more high resolution images. Hey, I, I'm working with what I got. I blame Disney on that one, you know what I'm saying? I agree. It would be nice to have a nice higher resolution image. But you know what? This leaves a lot more to the imagination. I, I We get to uh, decide how things work rather than be told. Right. Well, so isn't that what Disney's all about, right? The land of imagination. I mean, don't they That's really right. try and push for that? That's right. Yeah. Use your imagination. Don't oh, follow the plan. Plans for yeah. suckers. Yeah. Sort of like the, uh, the Winchester house. That's what we oh. should model next. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a painful one. If you guys haven't seen the Winchester house, you got to go look for look for the uh, the, the top down view of it because that's nuts. All right, so I know this looks a little awkward, but what I did was I drew a section of what I saw here, and what we'll do now is we'll grab this rectangle. All right, I guess I can explode at this point. There's no point in keeping it, so I can grab this rectangle, and when I do a follow me with this, I'll get that uh, that turret double double turret tower thing double um, double turret tower thing double double so yeah, yeah if that makes sense which... look, look at this see this this is the corner right here coming down oh, yep okay that's that's this liner here i was talking oh. crap i'll be totally honest but that that looks like it's correct that seems plausible <laughs> i mean now that i've seen it in place uh have you talked about that uh what you're using in your left hand which model that is and all i that stuff? have not yet this is the this is a 3d mouse Totally not a requirement for running SketchUp. Uh, people all over the world run SketchUp daily and do an amazing job without a 3D mouse. Uh, it is an enhancement to my personal workflow. Uh, the idea of a 3D mouse is that it allows me to move my model in 3D space without having to preoccupy this mouse, which is my primary mouse, which I do the drawing with. What this does, it lets you spin the 3D space as if you're holding it in your hand like this, uh, and you can move around. It also has shortcut keys around here, so I can hit shortcut keys here rather than hopping over to the keyboard. Um, it is a good option if you do a lot of presentation. So as SketchUpers, we get used to this this kind of view, right? This uh, frankly kind of jumpy, zoom in, zoom out. We're used to this. This is not a problem. This is how SketchUpers see life. Not a big deal. If you're presenting to someone, it can be a little bit jarring to some people. So having the ability to nice, smooth animation like this is a big plus if you do a lot of presenting. The other thing is if you're a designer and you're looking for something to take you to the next level, what's going to make you a better designer than what you are right now? Uh, I would consider the 3D mouse as an option because it does actually speed up my input because I'm not having to worry about zooming with this mouse. Uh, so I can do stuff like as I spin around to the back of the model, go grab my next command or uh, shortcut keys. So if I want to, you know, toggle hidden or something like that, I don't have to go over to the keyboard. I can actually just tap it right here. So that's have you minutes. ever spent any time using the just the basic round one? Uh, I have. I actually have one of those which I use when I travel because this thing's kind of big to throw in my backpack. Um, so I've used it and all, all the all the basic one is is just a puck. So it's just this part with a weighted base. And I think it has one key on each side, one little button. Uh, it is still a great way to show things. Um, so if you are showing, 
uh, demoing, something like that. Like when we go to trade shows. Remember trade shows? You guys remember events? <laughs> remember when we used to do those things? Um, so, so when uh, we used to go to trade shows, I would pack that and, you know, do demos or whatever. It was great, especially, you know, throwing up on the big screen behind us. And this would just make it a little bit easier uh, for people to follow around as we spun in 3D space. So, um, so I went to grab the, the link just now. I saw that they are still selling the first generation style, which mm -hmm. I don't remember if that's what you've got or not, for like $100 less than the, like $100 off. And then you also get a, now through the end of February, you get like a free travel case, in which case you just carry that with you. You travel everywhere with it, I that's guess. That's awesome. That yeah. being said, it's still $270 American. So. Yeah, and I know not everybody, it's not It's not for everybody, I get that. Uh, for some people, it's, it's you know, a thing they don't need, and that's cool, I get it. But uh, like I said, for me, it was, uh, I present SketchUp so often, I want to look as good as possible, and having this nice smooth animation is part of that. But the other thing is just, it's it's my next step up in making myself a better designer. So I don't get anything from it. 3D mouse or 3D, yeah. and, and it's also protection. it's also worth mentioning that every year when there's a new version of SketchUp that comes out, there are hiccups for people that use it because you've got to install the drivers from 3D Connection, and mm -hmm. often they are not available. They they don't work on day one. That's true. As recently as three weeks ago, you were having problems with drivers. So, if you get one, make sure you go to the forum and talk to people about getting the uh, getting the drivers, making sure you got the right drivers for your version of SketchUp. And don't mm -hmm. erase your picture. Yes. Uh, now, now seems to be a safe time. Everything seems to be going pretty well right now, so that's good. Oh, Dieter! Dieter said he just got the wireless version. See, I'm kind of I've I've reached that point where I'm I'm content to have wireless stuff. I, for a long time, I I had latency with everything I did, and I didn't like it. But now it's pretty good. Yeah, I I love not being tethered. I, I like the idea of wireless everything everywhere. All right, so I'm just kind of sketching out the profile of this. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same on all four sides. So I just made a quarter of the big rectangle. And then, whoops. I can take this shape. And I do... Uh, like I use rotate a lot as a copying tool when I do symmetrical stuff like this. Oop, I want both of these. So I'll copy that here, get rid of all this. All right, and I'll push that up to, where's the roof start? So I'd say the roof starts about here. Okay, now what does the roof look like? So for the roof, I'm going to take this profile. <laughs> so Slugger just commented over on Twitch that he is currently in the process of remodeling the set of solid gold from 1980 <laughs> for work. I'm not quite sure where he works, but that- uh... That's pretty awesome. That is that definitely makes for uh, interesting. Maybe there's going to be a, 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 a resurgence, a return of solid gold. Hey, that's, that's definitely uh, the youths of today are not going to know anything about, though. That is true. That is very true. All right. Um, yeah. So I know there's a lot more detail to this than what I got in here, but I'm just gonna. I'm trying to get my my first round in here. So I got these steps here. Uh, goes like this on up <laughs> but i want to just get the initial geometry and then we'll be we'll be detailing out as much as possible um i i do have questions about the solid gold thing though i i feel like uh i'm gonna start this <laughs> and then come back to that I need more information. <laughs> well he's, he said it's a set for a popular streaming tv show is uh, that streaming tv show called solid, solid gold, gold? <laughs> All right. Uh, so I have I have the I copied these extra shapes around. Let's see that. I just had to check the top view for that roof. 
I'm not sure if you're going the wrong way already, but no, it's always possible. I have I have a theory on how this works, but oh, I'm I like grab this. this. Let me go. Follow me with this. So I kind of feel like see, that's what we got going there. We got going here. I feel like that's, I feel good. I feel like I feel good about that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ryan on Facebook said he bets that the uh, solid gold set is actually for season three of the Mandalorian. And I bet that's actually probably right. That makes sense. Yeah, that logic checks out. I can't see how that's not right. So it's funny. So, so Slugger said it's a streaming TV show. So TV is not really a thing anymore, right? Stuff is not for television. It's for streaming. It's sort of, sort of like saying rewind, like you don't rewind things anymore. It's interesting how, like, how long will we continue to call it a, uh, a TV show? Or my kids, if I call something a movie, like for a while, digital videos, we'd just call movies. But mm -hmm. there's like a, apparently to the youths of today, there's a difference between a show and a video and a movie. Yeah. yeah when, I didn't know what to call anything. Yeah. When my uh, eldest was younger, she called everything shows. It was just when you watch the thing, it was a show. Yeah. Yeah. And that, uh, that was the way it was. Oh, there you go. So Tony said, if you add commercials, that makes it a TV show. Ah, that makes sense. I like that. All right. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of pictures. I, I have the, uh, the forum open over on this other window and I'm looking at the actual construction photos has a nice kind of downward look. And this, this piece and this piece are both not full towers. They're open hexagonal, uh, actually might grab this profile again and copy it. So uh, let's come in here. I'm going to put that line across again like that. And then we'll go in here and grab a polygon. We will set it to eight sides. I'll click to the middle here and pull it out to there. From that picture, that square tower does not appear to rotate. So I don't know what that red yeah. Sort of Mitt, you know, square is. I don't really know what these drawings are. So these could be like, maybe this was redone. Maybe these are red lines. Like, oh, you screwed this drawing up so bad. Look, <laughs> <Oops>. the <laughs> windows it. on here need to be me, changed. Me. These ones are good. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I have no idea. I, I had no clue. I'll allow it. Yeah. Good. Because, uh, good. All right. So I'm going to have this follow what I created over here. I did not hold on to the profile of this, so I don't actually have it. But what I can do is I can copy the profile here. I, I, you know, I have a lot of tricks and tips in my bag that all revolve around uh, not thinking ahead and being impatient as I model, I realize. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick uh, rectangle right here, just a rectangular surface that goes through like this. Um, and then I'm going to grab this face. I'm going to say intersect face with model. And what that will get me, if I grab this and copy it now, that will get me that profile again. So obviously I do need to come in here and finish that out. But you can see what that does. So I'm going to pull that. We need to get it back in line. So this is like I said that he was doing, uh, he's doing a lot of modeling from photos and we should really do a, a video that goes over or, or digs deep into photo match or match photo. I was like, oh boy, let me tell you. Yeah. Did, were, were you here last week, Slugor? He was not. 
Oh. Well, I'm not going to say that was a, a good stream. Sorry, that's the end of my yeah. statement. I don't, I'm, I, that's all I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say that. That was the best stream we did last week. It's in the top five. It was the last stream of, of January. Why did that twist? What did I just do? You just drew directly onto the top of a non-grouped surface, and now you're trying to modify that, yeah. but it's stuck to that edge. Let's, let's make that into a group, shall we? Man, I was, I was watching, trying to figure out where this was all going to go, and I was not, was not op optimistic. Oh, stuff just happened. Okay. Uh, quick follow me on this one. I'm, I'm going to go find a link to last week's show, because I think, I think there's a bunch of people here that were not here last week. You know, I'm, I'm realizing that uh, I am uh, a fasting my grouping here yeah it's it's like it's amateur hour it's kind of fun yeah i mean not really. nice job new guy but but, um, but as i was saying like i said <laughs> going back and pulling information out of the model for something i already modeled is something i do a lot of because i get excited i think that's my what i'm going to go with as my excuse uh just being excited and uh you know making something calling it done before it's actually done and uh i try i try to trying to frame it as a positive thing my enthusiasm that's good <laughs> not a not a crippling issue that prevents me from succeeding uh, well i'm depressed all right let's take that Grab it by a corner. Option copy it over to right here. It looks like this may, this one may actually be orthogonal. Let's see. Where's my red axis? Here, axis, axis, axis. Ah, poke myself in the eye on that one. Okay. Yeah. Woo! It's coming around. It's coming along. Okay. Uh Got another tower here on the back. Uh, this one's actually a bigger, bigger tower, it looks like. See, I, I'm definitely not getting all the information I need from my drawings here. Um, of course, I didn't pull this one in, actually. This is the image that would go here, the one I did not grab. So maybe I'll save and do a quick import and see what I got for, uh, what I got on number four here. As I'm looking at it this way. Okay, so I got another little shorty tower and then this bigger tower. This is bigger. Oh, it looks like it's the same one from this side. All right, uh, as I mentioned, oh, one of these two was a smaller image than the other. That must be this one because that looks like messy, garbagey stuff. This does not look good. Um, yeah, you can see the difference in, this is not a question of resolution in SketchUp. This, this was, one of my images was smaller than all the others. Um, one of those things is not like the others. That's right. One of these things is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, 89, 6, and 7 eighths. Okay. Let me get, let me get a, oh, whoa. Oh. Paul wants to know why we're not why you're not making more components. This seems like a very component friendly kind of model. Well, when I originally looked at it, it seemed like every tower was different. It looked like they were there was not a whole lot of repetition. Now that I'm doing it, I do feel like like these three all look the same. This one had a different profile than these ones. Um, like yeah, if you even look at the images. This one that I, I copied the same, actually, in Keggy Fiction's image looks significantly different, looks wider. Kegification. Kegification, sorry. Keggy Fiction. 
Uh, same thing here, actually. So if I look at this, I, I may have to go back and, and scale that one out a little bit. This one goes across, it's about six foot 11, but if I come to this one, that's seven foot five. This is actually a little bit wider than this one is. I feel like uh, Ashley wanted you to do a castle and then the castle that you picked is not the way that anybody would actually design a castle. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Like castle. It's fine. All right, let's make that a little bit, a little bit wider. Let's see if that's that's closer. Um. Anyhow, wait. I was doing something. Eighty nine, eighty nine, six and three quarter. <laughs> All right. Let's let's hop in here. Do that. Eighty nine foot. Six and three quarters. Scale that up. Slide it up. Slide it over, slide it over, slide it down. All right, and then I'm gonna draw my ground plane in again. Hooey. Yeah. Image res there's there is a point at which you get to where where there's really not much more you can do. You know, sometimes you just have a low resolution image. And that's just a bummer. All right. So this is what I was talking about before. Uh, I got to that point where my cage now at this point kind of covers everything up, right? Um I have a limited, so I can't, I can't work. It's, it's harder to work in here because, because of this. So like I was saying, there's a couple things I could do. Um, the big thing obviously is tags and getting visibility set up. So what I might do is I might grab this piece right here and I'm going to put it on a tag called right. I'm going to put this on a tag called back. I'm going to put this one on a tag called left. Now, what that lets me do is I can come in here and I can real quickly, you know, top, wait, oh. I didn't do something right. I did not do something correct. Oops. Right. I didn't switch what I had selected when I made that back. Okay, there we go. So now that gives me the ability to, you know, turn these on and off as I work through here, which is nice, it's cool. Um, something else to consider though, which is another option, is creating scenes real quick. The cool thing about scenes, and a lot of people don't pay attention to scenes, uh, when you come in and you create a new scene, um, you don't have to set everything. You don't have to put your camera in a spot or set a style or anything like that. Your scenes can include as much information as you want. So if I wanted to create a scene and the only thing in that scene was uh, turning off this right side, what I could do is I come into tags, I could turn off right, and then I can come down here to my scene data and I can say, don't change the location, don't change what's hidden, don't change any of this just update tags right and then i'll make a new new tag or new scene i'll call this uh a hide right so now if i'm in here like this and i want to come around to this side i want to see this i can just go uh, hide the right real quick and it goes away it doesn't change my my scene so if i want to bring it back on uh i would have to come here and toggle this is not going to be a toggle so i can't hit hide right and bring it back it's just going to put that away um, so I could do more scenes where I go, okay, well, let's go, we'll create a scene called, uh, all on, we'll turn left off and create a scene called hide left. And then we'll go back to all on, turn off the back and then we'll create one more scene called hide back. 
I did not type that in the right spot. Hide back. All right, so now as we're sitting here, okay, turn everything back on right now. And I'm coming around this side and get rid of that. Oops, nope, wrong one. Hide left is what I meant to say. And this is going to just make it a little bit easier rather than going down tags. Again, my tags tend to be very simple because the models we're doing are almost conceptual models. They're not, not full where I have uh, levels for my, you know, my, my, my uh, furniture and appliances and moldings and everything else. Uh, but you can imagine if I had 60 or 70 tags in there, the ability to just toggle just those pieces is a, a pretty nice to do in scenes like that. Also, I wrote hide back instead of hide back. Man, I can't wait till I get that spell checker in SketchUp. Actually, no, because autocorrect kills me on a daily basis. So I really hope that never happens. All right. And you already you already turned off animation animation last week, I think, right? Yes, I did. Um, That's a feature you've got to disable manually. Uh oh, Whew. yes, definitely. Uh, if you're if you're gonna do this. Uh, turn animation off because, well, I guess I've not moved my camera. Actually, it might be turned back on. I think it's on in my default, uh, but it's, I'm not animating because I'm just setting tags with my visibility and not actually moving. Okie dokie. All right. So as I look at this now, I have, here's this tower, here's this tower, and now I need another tower right here and a shorty tower right here so i'm gonna go ahead and use this tower i'm gonna copy it over here and you know you're right let's uh let's go ahead and take a look my entity info this tells me there's four towers one two three four these are all the same right now so let's go ahead and do that. Let's change these into components because when I go in and I put put some details and I put the windows in, I only have to do it once. And where possible, I'll try to deform the container like I did with this one. I actually made this this tower a little bit wider than the others. But rather than changing the geometry, I just stretched the uh, the container. So let's do that. Let's change them all the same. So I'm going to use an extension right now that I already have installed. One of the few extensions. If I right click here, I go to group copies, I can say convert into components. This is selection toys from TomTom. Tom. Uh, it it's, it's one of the best. It's super low profile. It's not flashy. It's free. Uh, but selection toys is awesome because it helps you selection. I mean, it lets you make it easy. Let's say, you know, deselect all faces when you do a big group select. But it also has these, these uh, commands in here that make it real easy to do things like take all those groups and make them into components. So now I actually have four copies of components rather than individual members. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one then. And again, I'll swap this one into its place. All right. Um, that gives us this one. We also have a little, little starter tower right here. So I'll go ahead and I'm, struggling to see where that fits um definitely you put it on the back side so nobody sees it anyway <laughs> i see it here it's it's definitely here maybe maybe this one is actually maybe this is actually the stairs are in that and then this guy is Right there, something like that. All right. Uh, yeah, nobody cares about the backside, right? We don't have to worry about details back there. I'm kidding. Um, kind of. I don't know what the backside looks like. I don't really have that here. Uh, Let's, let me, let's just see what the internet has to what, say about the back of the castle. What do the Google say? Um, while we think about that, let's start talking about walls. So with my wall, I'm thinking that what I'll do is I will pull a wall profile off of something, maybe right here. We'll get a profile of what that works looks like. 
and then we can actually create a path and extrude the wall around as one big piece through the towers. So I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to just make a straight line down like this. And then I'm going to infer a little bit because it looks like it's going to come out like this. It's going to come down to here. Then it's going to cut back. And then, oh, it actually drops to about here. And it looks like it has some width to it like that. Get some, some catwalk space there. Catwalk, that's probably not the term they, they use in old timey times. But something like that for the profile of my wall. I'm going to go ahead and grab that, make it a group. And then I'll pull that and stick it someplace I can. Right, I we got something? I posted a picture, one picture, and then there's a link to someone's Smug Mug post. So you can't just copy the image, but it's worth going and looking at because it's a great shot. Smug Mug. At least something. Yeah, so you're, you're spending all the time thinking, oh, the towers, that'll be, oh, that won't be too bad. So you didn't look at the windows. <laughs> the windows, Aaron. Monsters. Monsters. Um, all right. So, yeah. So. You should have done uh, Hogwarts instead of this. I mean, this is fine. It's definitely an easier building. Except that it's constantly moving, so not really. Eh. Details. Details. Um, okay, so. You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that there are multiple. I think the Cinderella castles, there's actually more. I, I don't know if this. I guess somebody could look into this. Is the Cinderella's castle in Disneyland and Disney World the same? And is it different in the Disney places in other countries? That's true. Because uh, I'm starting to think that's the case. Um, because the back of that, oh no, here's what I'm seeing. Okay. I get it now. That they're definitely not the same. That's and this right so here. They, yeah. That's the Everybody inside. Has a different network. Yeah. So I guess I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm grabbing pictures of all my pictures are the same castle. No, what we're seeing, so... The color of the roof suggests that they might be... Different? Is that what you're saying? No, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm definitely... The, well, and the other thing is my profile, my, my pictures aren't lining up one to the other. So uh, I have a different number of towers on this side <laughs> over here. Uh, so... Yeah, we may, we may be rapidly approaching uh, the Aaron's version of uh, <laughs> particular. If Aaron were Walt Disney. That's right. Oh, it would have been so much fun. He's definitely in my top. Who who's historical figures? I mean, who who do you guys wish you could uh, just hang out with Fine. and have lunch with? Oh, sorry. Good question. Not Gandhi. He didn't eat much. So that's true. Not, not a good lunch food. date. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to grab all of these real quick and I'm going to temporarily. He's looking for brownie points. He said us. Of course. Aw. And Doug said Frank Lloyd Wright, which could be an interesting one. Never thought of him as hysterical, but. <laughs> but um, everybody's making jokes. So funny. Yeah. Bunch of bunch of smarties around here. What's going on right there? That spot you're just editing because there's nothing. Oops. There's no walls. That's just like, oops, that's neat. I like what you I like what you did there. Uh, oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I bet you that stairs. That could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's obviously, like I said, this 
my, none of my drawings are completely telling me what's going on. So I'm, I'm definitely doing some inferring here. Um, all right, but I'm going to grab this line and I haven't remember the last time I saved. I'm going to do a quick follow me with this profile. And this profile is currently in a group. So to do the profile, I do have to right click on the group, say edit group. I'm still in follow me so I can hit this right here with home. Command Z. I don't know what just happened there. Um, let me try something that's not that. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to rotate this so that it is perpendicular to the line. When you do follow me, you want to make sure that that is the case, that you are perpendicular. Um, all right, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to grab this line. I'm going to edit group. Oops, I forgot to select follow me. I'm going to grab the line. Third tries a charm. I'm going to go to follow me. I am going to edit the group. Click this face. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And I get rid of that. And then come in here. I can explode. No, not explode. Reverse faces. And now if I go to edit, I can say unhide all, bring it all back. That was kind of cool. All right. I feel a little better about myself. Um, all right. So we're getting there. We're, we're, start, we're starting to see something. I'm going to put a basic form of this arch in here. I'm gonna have to use uh, Bezier curves on that because that's, oh, I forgot, I gotta mention something. Uh, I wanted to mean? say a quick thank you to uh, extension developer extraordinaire, Mr. Fredo6 for sending me uh, licenses to your extensions. I, I got in, email that I was not aware I was going to get that said, uh, well, I guess like he kind of mentioned it to me, but, uh, yeah, he sent me some, uh, of his extensions. So Fredo corner, which is one of my, that's one of my top extensions. I like that a lot, but he also sent me Fredo spline, which I have not used before. I'm excited to get in there and use that. Uh, if you guys are not aware or not a big extension users and you want to find out how to bring your extension game to the next level, the stuff that Fredo makes is definitely worth looking into. I would like to know the context of how he came up with the name Fredo. Maybe his first name's Al. Maybe. Maybe he just really likes fettuccine Alfredo Maybe. or anything Alfredo. It's I, th There's worse things out there than Alfredo, I'll tell you that. A lot of worse stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I feel like we've got this all to where we want it. This, the back is kind of weird because, so what happens is on this, looking from those back images, uh, this is like a lower section. So this is actually flat. And these little, little round sections are like, this is like a walkway right here. And then this tower rises up inside of it. Um, but what we can't see from here, of course, is what happens between the two. So I'm kind of feeling like this right here, we need to just put in and pull up to whatever we decide is our, you know, kind of our deck height. And then outside of that, inside that, we build up this, this main tower section. Um, the main tower is the, is the part that gets a little, uh, Little, uh, yeah, because, because what? Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to start creating geometry and start shifting these tower chunks into place. 
and we'll uh, we'll just work forward and backwards till we have something that looks like a tower. Basically, is what I'm really hoping for. So I've seen you make towers before, so I'm optimistic. I I can I can make something. I feel I feel good in saying not just saying but promising something will exist. All right, so here I'm going to have a little little parapet. Am I using that term right? Am I am I saying that right, guys? I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, that was not the proper term. A pair of pets. Two dogs. A duel of dogs. Uh, a cankle of cats. What? What? Cankle? Pretty sure that's pretty sure that's how you. Yeah, that's what what cats are traveling. Oops, nope, I went too far. All right, there we go. So again, make that a group. Hop in said group. Another circle up above here on the flat. Grab that. Uh... So um, I, I hit this problem. This is probably a unique problem and none of you guys are going to be identifying. So I'm just, I'm probably just complaining to myself. Uh, I've started doing these, I don't know if you guys, anybody here has watched any, but these square one videos. And the issue I'm running into right now, it looks like this is this right here maybe. The issue I am running into is I'm trying not to overload my UI because in the interest of creating these square one videos, I want to have a UI that looks like what you'd have at square one. But as a result, things like follow me, which is a tool I use a lot, I don't have a button for anymore. Do I have it on my, and I don't actually have it on here either. Um, oh, maybe, maybe this is follow me. I do have it on my space mouse. Never mind. Transom said that the square one videos are great. Good. Uh, I haven't watched one yet, so. Yeah, Jody's kind of an elitist in that way. He he doesn't watch stuff till till they become you know unpopular, and then then he'll yeah, go watch I, it. I, yeah, I try and do it hipster style. That's right. I'm more about round ones anyway. Oh, that sounds like I'm making a reference to uh, some sort of sport sporting event though. He's a big boxing fan, Jody. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Oops. I, I think this is a pair of pity thing, too. I'm going to make it a pair of pity. I don't care. And actually, there's not it, really it room is now. for it. Oh. It's too, it's cramped. All right, let's get this thingy. Woo. Bring that back to here. Keep going up to. Oh man. Oh, this is craziness. This tower is nuts. Let's keep zooming out to see what it is I'm actually modeling here. All right, there we go. Big tower. Make that a group. Hop in the group again. Flat circle. Select it. Shift F to follow me, and there we go. All right, now I grab this, reverse faces, and then bring that main tower out. I already have a snap point there. Okay, so I can just grab it. Is that little thing at the top just like lightning striking it? Yeah, something like that. Like I'm sure that's like an active that. lightning strike. You mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's happening right now in the picture. Wow. Most architects wouldn't see to put that in there. That's interesting. 
All right. Well, they're just trying to make it clear what the reason that they made that really tall and pointy. I see. Oh, yeah. Like illustrative purposes. I gotcha. Yep. All right. I got another tower here. Let's see. We'll go to like there. It's a fairly simple tower compared to uh, its siblings. I do like getting a little bit of these, like, uh, and I may, be, I may be exaggerating some of this geometry too, but I like getting a little bit of relief into a 3D model, especially if I know odds are good I'm not going to come in here and texture or color this at all. The idea of getting, like, just that little bit of relief, you know, especially on a follow me. Just a couple little jogs out like that really makes your model just a, a little bit stronger. That'll work. All right. Yeah, we'll come in there again. Circle tool on the flat. You know, I actually have... Oh, that's not the right button. There we go. There's that tower, and that tower goes again. I'm regularly losing these towers. Oh, I think that's this tower. It looks like it's right, right here. All right, I'm gonna pull that one forward, grab it by that very peak, and then. Bring it forward to here. I don't think that's right. It looks like it's behind this one. But again, I'm getting a strong feeling that uh, my reference images are not all from the same place. <laughs> so this might be right here. There's a pretty good chance when this is all done that you're not going to pull in one of those photos and be able to line it up so that it matches <laughs> perfectly. I'm like, wait, what's this? What's this tower? Odds are good. Yeah, that's that's probably fair. All right. Um, I'm going to make this thing. I want that to be flat. I think it's supposed to be flat. Okay. Uh, this too. Actually, it's looking like in these two. Yeah, this. I'm assuming this is going to be a square. So uh, I'll make that a group. I'll go into that group. And I'm just going to grab this line right here. Um, I'm going to option copy it straight up and I'm going to uh, 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 uh. rotate it 90. And then I'll just do the same thing where I'll select this and follow me with this shape. And then that tower, that tower we got some reference for. That tower I can bring over. To there ish. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this one's supposed to be back behind someplace. Maybe it's covered up by this one. Let's see, we should see it in front on this one. Well, yeah, uh, again. <sighs> Who knows what I'm seeing? All right, uh, I'm going to come in here. 
I'm just going to drop everything to the ground and we'll uh, It's starting to look like a, a castle though. I will I will I will definitely the details might not be there, but I definitely am feeling like uh I'm getting closer to a thing that looks like Cinderella's castle. Well, that's that's kind of the goal here today. So That is what we're know, shooting that, for. Yeah, this is like This one's definitely behind, so Uh I'm already thinking on my uh my lessons learned, I, I definitely feel like monitoring your references is definitely a thing that you should uh, keep an eye on. Validating that the references you chose to use, because you yourself chose them, mister, uh, were actually right. <laughs> oh. It's funner when you screw up, though. We all get oh, to yeah. we all get to relish in your uh, your misery. That's what I'm here for, guys. Do you love company in that case? Yeah, I I prefer mustard, but uh, I'll take a little little relishing. Have you saved lately? Yes. <laughs> Literally zero seconds ago. Duh, of course. <laughs> all right. So Dieter's asking, maybe you, you might have an answer. You might, you might know an idea. A way to bind a single key to toggle the axis on a protractor tool when rotating, either on the keyboard or space mouse pro, rather than having to hit up left, right to select. Um, you can use shift. Shift will lock you to whatever you're, you're on. Um. I guess maybe I don't fully understand the question beyond that. Like you wanted to know which one you're trying to get to. Yeah, I'm not sure. I read it exactly as he wrote it. All right. Uh, yeah, because I uh, mean actually, shift. So if I come in here, if I come in here with my circle, for example, right now I'm on a surface. So if I hold down shift, it'll lock me to this vertical surface. If I come down here and get on this this flat surface, it'll lock onto the blue surface when I hold shift. Um, but there's not like a toggle, to, toggle reference plane, like where you can just click through them. Uh, I don't know of anything like that. I can see how that would be useful though. I, I, I get the, I get where that question would come from. Ashley also commented that the from that that picture, the construction picture on the forum, looks like the towers push way back. I'm not sure which. The big tower, I think. The big one. All right. Well, we can we can probably do that. We have the technology. I'll line this up for for beauty's sake. That's kind of cool. The blue behind the gold. Blue tower behind the gold tower. Mm -hmm. It looks like the gold tower is actually... And again, we're, <laughs> we're trying. Um, but in that image, this main tower is right here. It is right up against this piece right here. But it's very obvious on here. Unless I have this 100%, this might be backwards. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Uh, that's Seriously. Fun. That's fun. That's good stuff. That right is there. fun. You know I don't that care is? who you are. Aaron's pain is fun. The way I see it, it's better you than me. Oh. So many things make sense right now.
Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, yeah. So how was your day? Uh, up till now, it's been pretty, it's been okay. Uh, you know, it's all right. And this, the ability to call me out just took you up a level, didn't it? It went from okay to not too bad. You know what? I didn't even call you out. That was, that was your That's own true. doing. Dang it. Come on, me. Stop hitting yourself. Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because it's true. Ashley said that the right one looks like it's backwards too. Uh, that, now. that odds are good that yeah, it's 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 all equally <laughs> bad. Hey, at least you're consistent, you know. Yep, wrong but consistently so. All right. I think a, a handful of things just made more sense. Started making more sense right now. It's not so much that the models are different like there's a bunch of different models. It's just that you're just using the right pictures the wrong way. I'm, I'm just using them in a different way. Yes. So uh, now I'm wondering if the back one's wrong too. Could be. I got that one. Well, I mean, left and right, looking at it from in the front, I, 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 uh, I should say, I, I was going to say, I, I would hope I got that right, but I would hope I got the last one right. And I didn't. Look at you not getting it right. Like some kind of chump. This is actually kind of starting to look like a pretty cool model though. Um, all right, this thing hangs off of this and I believe it's octagonal. Let's start here. I have the window and somebody outside is laughing at my pain, I'm pretty sure. Shut up. Tell them get, to go back to work or go back inside or leave you alone. I think it's a, some, some child, some some kid. Oh, yeah? Are they like, um, oh, no, what's his name? Not mine. The bully from Simpsons that laughs. Nelson Muntz? <laughs> yeah, Nelson. Did I just shove that behind? Okay. Uh, Slugor asked if they're laughing at your window pane. Oh, zing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh. yes. Okay. What are we modeling next week? What's the what is a tractor? The second week. Of the oh yeah, a thing a thing that's not a building, not a mon like a monumental building. Yeah, and, and I, I I think that's going to be a lot clearer about what's in front of what on that one. <laughs> nice thing about that type of stuff is also it's usually fairly symmetrical that's right uh, okay so no i was gonna put a circle in but it's not a circle this is a polygon with eight sides do i still have eight sides is turned on all right uh, i think i want the flat facing forward though right So I want to hit my modifier key to get the other side dimension to an edge rather than the face. And then I can grab this and not, not offset. No, I want to do follow me. There we go. And that cool looking tower comes forward till it hits this face right here. That's awesome. And then I got, it looks like another tower right here that sits on the back corner. That's gonna be this guy right here. I'll pull him down to about here. This does have a, just a, a touch parapet. Uh, watching for that diamond as I, as I was telling you guys, trying to 
Make sure I do it right. All right. That's also octagonal. So make a group there, hop into that group, draw another polygon, still in my eight sided polygon. So pull that out again, tap option. It's control on windows. That gives me my flat facing towards the front rather than the point. So like that, grab I it. You can decide if you just froze or if you're just making a face. What, did I froze? I think you froze. Right. Froze for me. I never freeze. Now you're not froze though. Okay. Nope. I lost your video. Now you're just a little. Yeah, you disappeared for a second there. I noticed that. Uh, I will. I will bring that right back. Hold on one second. That sounds weird. All right. That was cool. I think it does go all the way down though. So come in here. Pull that down to the ground. And then we will grab it. Yeah, you're, you're a hot mess of bandwidth over there. Let me start turning stuff off over here. Maybe it's me. Um, all right, in order to make this work, I'm going to have to show you to everybody, Jody. Wow. What's that about? Nobody's commenting that you're messed up, so maybe it's just me. I think it's just uh, Google Meets because uh, I can't stop presenting. I can't mm. press the stop presenting button. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, ready? I'm going to bring you on, Jody. You can say hi to everybody. You guys want to see Jody? Here's Jody. Hi, Jody. Ah! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it says lost network connection the second you waved. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. oh, there I am, though. Yeah, there, just for a sec. That's uh, awesome. Okay. Um, uh, hold on. I gotta, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop Jody and get Jody right back. All right. You're back, Jody. Oh, good. Maybe. Good to be back. All right. I'm glad I have my shirt on. Good thing. I mean, it's also cold, but you know, there's yeah. that. Although right. I've got my my thermostat to the shop says it's already 47 degrees in there, so I could go out and like work in my shop right now. But I'm in here. That's not too bad. Too bad. Too bad you had to work for a living, huh? Shit. <laughs> Damn. Dang it. So we got, if I count these, these, uh, these little towers, we're at 15 right now. Um, oh, we're almost done. Got to figure out some more things to slap on here. So it does have, it looks like I got this other wall section here, but it is insanely and hard to, to figure out where that's at. So uh, I have decided... Uh, it's oh hey look it's here. Right. But is that the right side of the drawing? Mm -hmm. hmm. We're so far beyond caring about that kind of thing. Uh, this comes all the way up to here, and then I'm gonna draw, take it out just a touch, just a teeny bit out like this. Oh, come on, man. Work with me, not against me. And then that's going to go up to the top of this pair of bit. All right. Do something like that. And then there we go. And I'll drop that all the way down. All right. That then, so see the wall there, it, it's it's all actually lining up. So the construction picture shows the gold tower connects to the small tower. This tower and this tower? Or this tower, this tower, this, this tower. I see two gold towers, so that messes with it. 
construction picture. Tells all. Wait, did Titus? Titus said to look at the photos too. Did he post a new photo? No. Wait. Yes. Titus has got some new photos on there. Ooh, that last one looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that last one. Like before I finish making the mistake I'm working on right now? No, I don't know. You, you pick and choose your mistakes. Okay. Oh, I... I have several to choose from. All right. You guys are awesome. Whoa. So that's like this. There's a whole, this is, this is like a square on this. This makes this look like this goes all the way around in a square. Which I'm into. I like that. Um, this is, this is, it's coming together, you guys. Believe it or not. Even if it's several different things from several different, several different angles. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going to bring this out. Oh, it looks like it comes out to here. And then this is where, yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. You guys need to get out my face real quick. Uh, all of yous. I'm going to push this back just a skosh so that I can create a path. Amazon's here, Jody. Amazon's <laughs> here. My wife just left to go pick up our we have a milk share. She's gone to get milk. And apparently, as she did it, she tossed a cat in the front yard. Ah. I'll be right back. Was it a cankle of cats? All right. Probably. Follow me on that. All right, that gets me. And I'm just gonna, I'm just going to close this up. I don't see any reason to maintain. Wait, what? Uh I don't know what happened there. That got weird. All right, let's fix that. Let's just do some some quick repair work. Oh, problem is this is not. How did I do that? I I I can make some things happen that you would not believe. I can make. Uh... <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. That's a thing that uh, I've heard before. That is true. That shouldn't have happened. All right, that's all closed up now. All right, now I think we're in better shape. Throw that across to there. So apparently they were barking because they wanted me to go get some Girl Scout cookies. Oh. Not because there were Girl Scouts out front, but because there's Girl Scout cookies in the freezer. Mm. So. Wow, smart dogs. Yeah, I don't know how they figured it out. Obviously, they care a lot to... to uh... So... Now I'm curious, since we have so many uh, international folks, what do, what is the alternative to? What do, what do Europeans get to eat or Asians get to eat during what? Girl Scout cookies? When they can't get cookies made out of Girl Scouts? Yeah, real mint chocolate Girl Scouts. Is it that time of year? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was driving down Main Street this weekend. And there was a dad out there with a sign that said Girl Scout cookies. And I was like, there's no Girl Scout cookies there. And then two buildings later, there was a table with uh, some Girl Scouts and cookies on the table. And even like the plexiglass screen, so you can't cough on them. Oh. Keep our Girl Scouts safe. And then a little bit farther up, there was uh, another dad holding a sign up in the other direction. Wow. Somebody's dad's in marketing. All right. Close up. All right, that's enough. Okay. 
something got weird there. I probably could have uh, fixed that in a different way, but I didn't. All right, so I'm going to take that. Now we're going to unhide everything. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more happening in here than that's that section. It does look like, yep, yeah, here's my hexagonal. Need another hex tower. Take, I'll take you, buddy. Uh, wait, hold on. Before we do that, let's make you the component. All right. All right, and this one looks like it actually, ah, it's just offset. The interesting thing is that looking at more of these pictures and plans, they really fought hard against like making things symmetrical. Like stuff really doesn't line up. which is very, very, very interesting. Um, all right, so right down here, we have this shape. All right, so I'm gonna go, this is a 10-sided shape, so let's grab a polygon, 10 sides. option to get the edge out there yeah it does not it's not quite we'll stretch that out just a bit option to stretch around the middle there we go and then i'm gonna i'm gonna pull that up to it's just above this tower or this height right here looks like oops do a break here too and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect these to the midpoint like this and then i can grab that point and just pull it straight up that'll give me kind of the that shape the head back there and then what happens on there it's and then i know i'm looking at an image that titus po post posted up on our uh our forum um actually this looks like it may even come up higher sorry it's more like that it looks like what happens then is just below this i have something like this and then we'll offset that something kind of like that and then you can actually grab this ring and drop that vertical. Ah, every once in a while, autofold will do something weird like that. Everything else looks like it worked out perfect, but one weird face. It's, it's got a mind of its own. It does. It's, we're not using machine learning to make that happen. All right, and then this is where stuff gets a little weird. Um. Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab these lines right here. I'm going Theo to... Theo wants to know how you grab a point. Go into move without having anything selected. That'll get you there. I'm going to use an extension. I am going to grab these lines right here, and I'm going to go to... Radio collection and use joint push pull to pull these out a little little ways. 
I don't actually know. I don't, I don't have details. I'm working off of just an image on what this stuff looks like. So, uh, it's going to look fantasy-ish, I'll tell you that. That's, that's what's happening. I think it's pronounced fancish. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm going to grab that line. That's where I want to pull that down to. Actually, we'll just do this. No, you know what? Like it. Um, so down here, God, get rid of my back. Down here, what we have is what looks like a fairly complicated, but it's actually not too terrible. It's actually pretty easy. So if I if I just create a rectangle right here, um, and draw a line straight up like this, I'm gonna grab this line and rotate it. Option rotate to 45 degrees. And then drop a line back here. That's a quick and dirty hip roof profile. The important part is just the 45s right there. So what this thing does is it creates, if I grab this right here, and I'm just going to move it vertically, it has a nice steep roof on it like this. I'm going to grab all that, make it into a group, and then I'm going to copy, option copy, one right here, I'm gonna rotate it so it's in line with this. That's close to four, well, no, I'm just gonna leave it that way. All right, now I'm gonna scale that, make it smaller till it hits right down the corner right there, like that. And if you look, that is basically what's happening right here also. Um, now I've got to get a copy of that over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put a line from here to here. Now I'll grab that group, option copy it over here. Use, actually I can't use scale because I'll have to explode. Make a new group and then scale that to invert it like that. And then because of the line I dropped right there, I can bring that right over here. All right, like I said, quick and dirty, but it got us everything we need. I'm gonna take all of these, make them into a single group, go into that group and explode them all. And then with them all selected like this, intersect face with selection. Can get rid of this line, I can get rid of this line. I can hit Shift S to run Solid Inspector and let Solid Inspector get rid of my internal geometry. Or not. That's neat. Really? You don't you just just oh just no. Okay, cool. I'll come down here and I will do this myself. All right, so there is one of our one of our roofs. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna uh, come under here. Actually, let's let's go in context. Hide everything else. Put a uh, clean up these my dang these dangly bits. Draw a line across like this. I'll grab all of this except for the back wall, do a quick offset like this. All right, and we'll pull that down. All right, so that gets me that kind of that geometry. Actually, what ends up happening, <laughs> I think, <laughs> is not that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push pull that back up. What actually ends up happening is something like this. Um, so if I grab this, grab this front line, and offset that all out. 
like that. That is a very simplified version of what the front of that looks like. I'm going to pull that down like that so I can erase. Reverse that face. Reverse that face. And then clean this all up. Oh, maybe, maybe we should have Solid Inspector take another swing. Let's see what let's see what Solid Inspector says this time. All right. Thanks, that's buddy. It. That's it. I like silence. It's golden. Not diamonds. All right. Uh so this is quite a bit higher up. So I'm gonna <laughs> I don't think that's where that goes. No. It's not on the floor. It is just above it's, it's kind of like that lump up there all right and then what i'll do is i'll take that from the center of i don't know if this is going to work or not but from the center of here i'm going to go option rotate it to should be 45 45 degrees oh come on man nope not quite 30 degrees? No, it's definitely more than that. It's it doesn't it's not quite doesn't look like it's square. Uh 40 degrees. Let's see what that looks like. Let's bring copy straight down. That's pretty close. We'll call it 40. I'll take this one too, rotate that off of the center here. Take that to 40 also. Nice. All right, so that geometry's in there. And what that ends up creating is something of a platform here. So if I take uh, this offset like that, I did not make that a component. Oh, uh, undo, undo. All right, again, convert into components. Now I can take this and this. And then I can come over here, say draw like this. Drop that to there. Come into this one. Do the same thing on this side. Draw that to there. Pull that down. For some reason, it's stopping part way down. I'm not 100% sure why. All right, so that gets me. And this is all fancy. There's a bunch of arches and stuff on this that uh, I did not include. Um, but that's that. And now this is where the rest of this shape starts to go around. Um, that was pretty close. All right, so I'm going to grab these three pieces. And I'm done component with the component stuff. So I'm going to grab all those, make them into a group, come in here and explode all right and now out here i want to get a path because i want to trace this same profile around all these pieces so it looks like maybe i drop back just a touch just a touch more a little little additional touching there we go that's going to go this way it's going to come here and I'm going to come back and put that circle on in just a second. I'm going to run over to here. And I'm just going to trace the profile of this lower wall. And that will die into that. And then... All right, so I'm going to approximate where that goes. Pull a circle out to there. And 
And I'm just going to use and the like some high resolution imagery to, to work oh, with. Oh, baby. I'll tell you. <laughs> some good, good stuff right here. I feel like you needed to sit there for a minute and give it a, another another second to, to <laughs> resolve. <a> load. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. Low, low profile floor plan is what we're working with right here. Okay. So, up here. I'm going to chop this off like that, get rid of all that. And this right here is the profile that I will be bringing with me. So I'm going to Command C just to copy that. And my, I guess I could just bring these lines up. That's probably the easiest. Oh, I didn't group this? Come on, man. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm going to cut that off. Damn trower. Again. <sighs> I'm so Is the convert to components? You could always sit, take something and convert to component, right? Mm -hmm. No tricky. I'm not sure if I I wasn't looking when you did it, so I don't didn't think you did anything. I was use I'm I am using it's not a native command, so I am using uh TomTom Tom selection toys to do it. Uh, okay. There you go. There you go. That's the part. That's the part that's a thing. All right. So here's that face I copied. I'm going to go ahead and make it a group. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drop it on uh, this line right here. And I'm going to rotate it so that it is 90 degrees from whatever this line is. I'm, I'm playing with some weird angles now. I'm, I don't think I'm... Uh, oh, maybe... Oh, this is actually 90 degrees. Huh. That's, How about that? That's square. That is. Okay, so I guess explode. Oh, this line wasn't 90. Okay, good. We're good. All right, so I grabbed that whole, whole mess right there. I'm going to hit follow me, and I'm going to choose this piece right here. There we go. Oh, love when a plan comes together, huh? All right. Go ahead and reverse faces. We'll fill in this corner right here. I'm going to cut that, come in here and paste that in place. Come on, just I just want to fill this in. Is it not flat? It's flat to me. Oh, duh. All right, explode this. There we go. Fill that corner in. Don't want a wall with a hole in it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool looking. And then. I feel like we got that same thing over here. Let's see how fast we can get this one done. All right. Oh look, here here's where they keep the mechanical just like in the in the movie. All right, so I'll come here, cut this off again. Same thing. All right, so one thing I can do here, I can actually grab this line, cut it, come in context here, paste it back in, if I hit the right button, paste it back in, and even though they're not connected, I can grab this line right here, and I can have this shape follow me. Um, I do want to get it perpendicular to this face, though, so 
if this face is on the red axis, then I want to get this face rotated out to the green axis like that. So now I can grab all of this. Follow me. This guy right here. There we go. Get rid of this. Come over here. Maybe close this up. Whoa. Like that. All right. So that's a thing. All right. Um, cool. If I hide everything, one of the things that's, that I got to get now is I have to get a platform. There's actually, it's flat right in here. I don't have that easily. So if I just do this, how close am I going to get to? Oh, that was easy. All right. So I'm just going to push that down a little bit and then get rid of that and then reverse faces. Sometimes, sometimes things work out for me on a regular occurrence. Okay, so I got some reverse faces to deal with, but that's nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so if I close up just to get this to be a closed thing, there we go. I could spend some time. Well, it's, I'll, I'll give I'll give Solid Inspector another shot. Oh, hey, there we go. Mm, no, <laughs> too many things it doesn't like. Uh, sometimes, if you if you get that, if you use Solid Inspector, which I highly recommend, if you can model in solids, it's a good thing to do. If you're gonna do a 3D printing, it's a must have. Um, but the one thing that'll come up, it'll it will often come up and tell you things like that, like oh, there's just too much stuff here. It won't give you the option to automatically fix. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do my circles here. Okay. Look, I forgot these, I guess it's just two circles. I can, I can just, oh, come on, man. Circle, circle. Sorry, I, I wandered off to, to answer some questions and you're just over here talking. I, feel, that's feel what like I do. Pretty right now. Yeah. So I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Oi. Oh, I thought you were going to be done. Ugh. I really felt like uh, if you had been around, you, you would have saved me from myself right there. <laughs> oh, what did you do? <laughs> Moving I, that up? I just forgot to uh, include everything. I included some things instead. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Uh, fortunately, uh, the fix is not too painful. All right, and I'll bring this down. Cool. Those those might supposed to be ninety degrees, but uh, I feel I feel good with that fix for now. <laughs> you know, ninety degrees is just a number. That's true. All right, and then what I was doing here—I don't know if you guys caught that before, but oh, whoops, I missed it by that deep. much. Uh, just grab this this line right here, and if I option copy that straight down it cuts this face so then all i have to do is just uh someplace along there trace the line and that will create a new surface right there and then just swipe and erase some stuff all right okay uh Obviously, 
I have issues. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Mm hmm. To here. To here. All right. That was that was it. Okay. Um. Now again, this isn't uh, isn't solid, so I can't just make that into a group and. Saw Inspector's got a lot of stuff in here. Wants me to clean up. I have all these walls that I didn't. I didn't delete the inside of. Um, I, so I can get. I can take some of it out by doing this. And so I was starting to say before is, if I get rid of some of these lines, it's going to break the interior surfaces. So when I have two, surface inside a surface, Saw Inspector doesn't always know what's supposed to be the inside and what's supposed to be the outside. So we'll get confused and you get messages like that, basically saying it doesn't know what to do. Um, Oh, my faces don't quite line up. Better leave that the way it is. Um, so sometimes breaking it up like this will fix my problem. Uh, let's let's just see. I'm going to just try to break up a couple more, hit Solid Inspector, and see what it does with it. Um, if not, what we'll do is we'll just kind of we'll do a little brute force modeling. Rather than using push-pull on my nice closed surface, I'll just move it down so it'll stretch it to the full height rather than uh, push-pulling. Oops. All right, there we go. All right, so let's let's run Solid Inspector again. Apparently, we're not on talking terms again. Okay. All right, well, someone's gonna start pulling uh, it. Silence is, silence is uh, not golden. What am I trying to say? Bad. That's probably not what you're trying to say. That's probably not what I'm trying to say. Who even knows? I don't know. All right. So we'll come in here, close this up, and pull that back to there. Pull that back to there. Draw a line here. Pull that back to there. I'm, I'm kind of making it up now. All right. And grab that. Oh, only now? That's good. Yeah. Because before, when you weren't making it up, it seemed sort of made up. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm working on closing up geometry. Is what I'm I'm really doing right now. When uh, I don't really have any clue how this geometry is supposed to actually close up, because I have one helicopter picture of the back of the building. But hey, you know what? When I'm done you're not going to be able to say that this is not a castle. And there are some out there who will be able to identify it as maybe being something derived from Cinderella's castle, in fact. So, uh, not sure why that's sticking out there. Um, I'm missing some things. I lost my front tower. Oh, there it is. Oh. come on, man. That's sad. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe it's on a different scene. Maybe, I mean, a tag. Did I, I might have tagged you know? it. That's possible. Uh, let's see. Go back to all on. Dang. I was hopeful. I was really hopeful. Uh... I must have had it highlighted when I hit the delete key. <sighs> okay. Well, we'll do this quick. Uh, let's see. Let's go find a middle point. Let's work a little. I want to work a little more, a little more detail into this guy this time. I I, I cut a few corners last time. Oops. You didn't cut just corners. You cut an entire towers, right? I right? Am I right? Nice. Mm. <laughs> all right. All right. A 
bring that over to my center line. Boom. All right. Take that, make it a group. And don't worry about componentizing that because there is only one. It's a Highlander Tower. All right. Um, slide that back. Uh, I'm going to grab everything except for these two pieces and hide them real quick because that didn't get me in any trouble last time. And uh, uh, okay. All right, take that, follow me with this, oops, grab that, uh, follow me with this, I can just delete that, I don't know what that is, don't need it, don't want it, get, just delete it, it's gone, it'll probably mess with the solids inspector anyway, <laughs> Taking a day off. All right, that may have been a little excessive. I may have put too much stuff on there. <laughs> uh, that's exciting. Yeah, it's it's. There's a it lot kind of, of. Kind of makes me think of a pagoda, but like very subtle. Which now makes me want to do a model of a pagoda. Let's see that. There we go. Wasn't I had a some hidden geometry in here that's causing me not to close the the bottom face. How about now? That's good. Now draw it. You. All right. Are you are you gonna make it a component? Do you need to? There's only one. Inquiring mind want to know. Okay. All right, so now we can edit, unhide every last thing. Yeah, and like I said, I, I got a little nuts there, but uh, I'm okay with that. That's it's it's something. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the door a little bit different too, because I'm going to again. I will do a bezier curve. Here to here, follow this line up a little bit, bring this one to horizontal, take that, copy it like that. And then I'm gonna take that straight out, not option, just I just wanna stay straight on this green line. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna move it vertically so it's like lined up there. And I'm going to push it in a little ways. I don't want to go in too far because I, I just want an indent of the door. And then I'll make that into a group. I will go to my solid tools. And I'll take this piece and I will subtract it from this not a solid. Hold on. Let's see. One stray edge. Let's try that again. All right. So I'm going to take this one, subtract from here. There we go. That's really all I want there is that, that little entrance. Suggestion. I don't want to go too far because I got this whole other group here. It's going to cause issues when I go back. Wow. I just hold on. Let's step back for a second. It's looking pretty cool. This is, this is not half as bad as Jody was making it sound. Yeah. I mean, what do I know? I just make stuff up. That's true. That's true. He does, guys. All right. Um, all right. So one thing I want to I want to get this little back section here 
built up just to kind of close up close up the back end you know what i'm saying All right, I'm going to skip the stairs. Uh, it's actually, it's a good idea to take the stairs. I mean, it gets you a little cardio. That's not untrue. Um, it's sort of like mini miniature squats as you do each step, especially if you skip steps. There's so many good things. You're right. I shouldn't skip the square, 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 words, words. Everybody's pointing out that you're out of plane. Are you out of plane now? Uh -huh. Or did you fix that? I was. There was a okay. point at which I was. All right, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I didn't put this bottom on a I didn't put this bottom piece on a, on its own tag, so I'm going to do that. Ooh, I yelled it. All right. Turn bottom off. What I want to do is I just want to I want to close this up. Um Oh, yeah, something, you're right. Something got wonky. All right, and we got to get rid of that back, too. Whoops. Well, that's there not going to work. You're going to have to fix that, I think, before yeah. it's going to work. i turn bottom back on real quick. Look at this. I mean, how how hard really would it have been to put some of this stuff in plane? I mean, c can we have a ninety somewhere? Oh. I feel like I feel like somebody is probably getting paid based on the number of non ninety angles. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you a bonus <laughs> if you can make this thirty seven degrees, eighty six degrees. There we go. Get that circle in there. Another circle right here. That's that's definitely different. That's closer. I'll take that. All right. Another circle right here. Oh, this is the fun part. We're detailing and stop talking. You know, for some people, that's, yeah. a, that's a bonus. Maybe you could do some stitching. That'd be nice. Silent stitching. Or maybe we start talking about stuff that's not necessarily modeling related, like... Uh, the beginning of the episode three of WandaVision. Can't talk about that though, huh? Anybody else watching that show? Anybody? Everybody actually in chat right now is talking about video cards and PCs. Oh, okay. That's the that's the big thing. It's all the rage, at least on the YouTube channel side. Sorry, Facebookers. Um, well, anyone who's wondering, I'm just going to trace the floor from below to give me a closed up shape right here. That's my, my plan. All right, now hide everything else. Let's see if it'll close. It won't. I think I have a little tiny line segment somewhere over right here. Let's just see. Yeah, I was right. It's on that side. Narrow it down to the middle. Nope, it's over here somewhere. So Andy watched the first two episodes and now he's just saving them so he can binge a bunch. Man, stopping at two. It's missing out on what was in three. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so, so, some things go without saying. <laughs> <laughs> if you only watch two, you didn't see what happened in three. 
All right, uh, I'm going to take this now and offset this to get my wall. And now this piece, I will push, pull up to, oh heck, I don't even know what height this goes to, but it goes to there. And then my, this goes here. This gets reversed. Oh. So Titus said you should put flags at the top, but I think you should pick one of the towers and have a whole bunch of blonde hair hanging out of it. I was just trying to find a good stopping point. You guys are overachievers for what <laughs> I'm trying to do. I know there's, there's a bunch of people that are wanting you to do like windows. and. Oh, good golly, like, folks. Um, I, I don't I, understand that. This has to end at some point. This uh, in the in the not too distant future, I might add. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. From from looking at some of the pictures too, I I do think I'm not sure if they're exactly the same because there's some some details that I definitely were definitely in some pictures that don't seem to be on the pictures. But I also know that there's been repairs and changes, so I don't know. It's another one of those spots where. Uh, Maybe we did not have the best starting geometry, but I feel like I like where I got to and I'm I'm going to start winding down, I feel. Because that's probably good. This this feels pretty cool. I kinda like this. Um because I'm looking at it, I'm just I'm just looking at some some reference images now that you guys have been posting, and I feel like I got most of the big pieces. The broad strokes are all there. Looks like there could be another tower over here somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely another tower here. So I'll grab this guy, my, my friend here. Option to stick that maybe right there. Maybe that sticks out like that, something. <laughs> Slugor asks if we're going to do the solid goal set set next week. Then he could just go download that and he didn't even have to do any work. Hey, sounds, sounds, sounds interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whew. All right. You did know you, what? Did you? I'm sorry, go ahead. What? I was going to ask if you watched The Expanse last night, which is completely off topic. I I started watching this morning. I'm about halfway through. Is it the last episode of the... the, the... It is. Season final. Final E. That was good. Ah, oh, Castle Grayskull. I know. I still want to do that, too. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do that live. I, I maintain that that is definitely a uh, a passion project and not a work, work project, project there. Oh, Slugor said he worked on season two of The Expanse. That was a, that's a, that seems like a dream job for uh, the right, the, for a specific person. Well, so the fact that you're saying it suggests you may be one of those specific people, right? <laughs> I love that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some someone might say, oh yeah, working, like doing uh, UFC would be, sounds like a dream job for someone that's not me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Um. No, I just I just think it's fun because I just really want shadows. Okay, with that we can do. All right, let me save. Let's uh, let's drop some shadows on here. Let's bring them around to the. See, the nice thing is this is simple enough that you could now three D print it if you scale this, it down. This, yeah, I mean, this is uh, it's definitely a cool. It's a cool looking thing. I really, I've been to the Disney parks a couple times. I've seen probably every Disney movie. So I've, I'm familiar with the castle, but I'm, I'm realizing how much I didn't pay attention to it. Like, you know, yeah. you see every time the little, it's, it goes, do, do, do. The little thing goes over yeah, only, and then makes the logo. I've only, watched, I've only been to the one in Florida and I completely, it seemed like in my mind's eye, that thing was really small. Like the one that I'm seeing anyway, because they have like they come out and do a dance number on the stage in front of it, so it must have been. I don't know, see. I was busy looking at other stuff. I was were, apparently I was trying to make my way to the, the log ride. Were, Jody, were you a lot taller when you went? So <laughs> I was tall. Yes, I was a grown ass man. Okay, because I was trying to go. Maybe you're smaller now than you were then, so maybe maybe it looked oh. bigger then. You know. No, I, I was as tall then as I am now. Okay, I thought maybe the re reverse childhood thing where. 
you know, it could be. Yeah, I was totally. I'm Benjamin buttoning it. Went into my my middle middle school building not too long ago, and all the halls seem <laughs> yeah. so narrow. Right, the water fountains are tiny, and bathrooms. And you're just like, what is what is going on here? Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Dieter's mentioning how how Disney, when they designed their real things, forces perspective on stuff where they'll they'll take what should be two straight lines and then they'll they'll do this or this to make things seem bigger or smaller as you look up. And lighting, I, I don't know if, if uh, it's in the same YouTube video, Dieter, but I remember watching a thing on lighting and how they they force shadows to to make depth. It's it's incredible the the whole concept of Imagineering. Where you just <laughs> well the fact that that's their job title right i mean i i want that that sounds like a dream job that does uh <laughs> keggy wants more mistakes next time hey i don't right. think that's possible oh wait <laughs> so uh that sounds right. so so our plan right now next week uh what we're planning on is to what is this little uh, did i do that apparently well i mean obviously i did that um Next week, we're going to do uh, a tractor. Somebody asked for, we actually had it requested several times to do a tractor. So I'm not sure, I don't have the pictures, the images yet. So if you guys want to get on the forum and if we, anybody finds some nice, you know, isometric drawings of a tractor, that would be cool. Um, similar to this, but a little more methodical, uh, doing those smaller pieces where I can, you know, well, it'll be really apparent right at the beginning if the images are correct or not. But uh, we'll be able to do like some. There's, there's a lot of different types of tractors too, right? There We're going to go with like generic uh, old school uh, John Deere or Titus keeps calling out the Lamborghini L33. I don't know. Is that a tractor? I don't feel like that's a tractor, but I could be wrong. I, you know, I didn't know Volvo made trucks and and. Uh, it is. It's a tractor, and it's it looks like it's just a regular old tractor. It doesn't even look fast. Hmm. It looks old. Actually, I would throw my hat in the ring to, for that one to be the one to do. That looks All right. Really... Well, I'll, we'll hold on to the Lamborghini L33 if we can find some good pictures of it. Um, All right. Joe, Joe just got here and asked if I could start over. <laughs> just, just scan back. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So you know what? That was that was actually that was fun. Uh, hopefully you guys are satisfied with where we ended up, uh, considering what we were working with. I feel pretty good about the way it turned out. That is a crazy building. That is a, I am not doing any more <laughs> Disney building. <laughs> yeah, so really the question is, how does Ashley feel having asked for castles for so long? Is she now going to be disappointed? And she's just like, why did I ask for this? Uh, this she, is... she, she had a positive thing to, or Ashley, he or she had a, had a positive thing she, to say. She, so, she. um, yeah, it was it was it was that was pretty cool. So yeah, so next week come back, we're gonna do the uh, attractor from from some imagery. We're gonna do some. It's gonna be a very different modeling process than what we did right here. This was a lot of like making things and then pushing them around. The tractor is gonna be more uh, structured. It's gonna actually be like uh, uh, modeling specific pieces and putting together. Well, it depends on on how how it the actual tractor we end up using. Also want to throw out a reminder, we are doing uh, KBiz next week. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Or no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, excuse me. The 9th, 10th, and 11th. We will be virtually exhibiting at KBiz. So if you want to go in there, uh, you can you can join us. We're going to be doing some demos. We've got some industry experts going to be doing some demos. Um, but yeah, come check that out have any interest the other thing is they they let us know that kbiz which is the kitchen and bath industry show um which i don't think that's what kbis stands for but it just occurred to me that those letters lined up and ibs international builder show i know we've already made all those jokes it's uh mm -hmm. ibs virtual virtual ibs uh, if you get into one, you can actually go to either of them. So if you're already attending the International Builders Show virtually, you'll be able to come check out SketchUp in, in uh, under the umbrella of KBiz also. So you have access to both if you if you join either. So that'll be cool. So uh, yeah, come check us out there, and uh, we will be back here next Wednesday. It'll be it'll be tractor time noon. 
next Wednesday. So it'll be fun. There we go. Get that in race. Nice. Uh, real go. good. Awesome. Well, that's it. Any, anything else, Jody, before we head out? To forget no, I think that you did, considering what you were working with, you did a great job here today. Oh, I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks, buddy. All right. Well, you guys, we'll see you next week. Uh, have an awesome week, safe week. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you later. See you guys.